What's up guys? Today I am going to go ahead and share some tips and tricks on how to create leather patterns. The software I'll be using is called Affinity Designer. And here we go. So let me go ahead and open up a new document here to kind of show you how you'll get started. I tend to go for the letter option. I like to change over here. You can change it to inches, uh, feet, centimeters. I like to work with millimeters. So I click on that, hit create and boom it's going to bring you right here this is basically a piece of paper where you'll go ahead and do your design on the very first thing i like to do is um create basically a credit card uh, the width is 85 the height is 54 this kind of gives me a perspective of how my pattern would look with the credit card i'll show you guys that here in a little bit but what i like to do is you see this little lock right there click on that that just ensures that this isn't going anywhere you won't click it by mistake or anything like that it's just basically puts it on the piece of paper and it locks it in place there's a lot of things in here but basically we're just going to be working with shapes um so i found out that for a little minimal wallet if you stay anywhere between 75 to 80 for the width and 100 for the height is a pretty good size for the wallet uh, depending on the thickness of your leather you might have to change the width from 75 to 80 uh, but let's take a look here so you have your first shape right what you want to do is to fill in the stroker up here this stroke I go into line and I change it to one and then the fill I don't like it to be a fill in there so I just click this little line that red line that gets rid of that and that's basically the first step here very plain and simple so now maybe you want to go ahead and add a little swoop right here but the way you'll do that you can go down here to the shape the ellip ellipse shape and then you can mess around with it change it very important here you see that little red and green lines that's your snapping tool it's up here make sure that's turned on that will help you out a lot so then you just grab both the shapes left click geometry divide delete and delete and there you go that's a pretty deep pocket but that's just for an example and it looks are they both even it looks like it maybe you don't want there to be little sharp corners like that so you can click this little corner tool click on that you want it to be rounded we'll do five millimeters there you go rounded five millimeters here and then maybe you want these to be rounded as well so you can change these to 10 And then this one at 10 and there you go that is how you'll go ahead and round those corners off and then you can add another one so then here you can go ahead and add a pocket an additional pocket and you can round the corners off too later to 10 millimeters the same way um, and then the pen tool let's just look into that the pen tool so oops so if you have your shape and you double click on it, then you might have to go up here and you might want to click on, oops, oh snap, what's going on here? Okay, you click on it, pen tool, what's going on? Okay, so you grab your, your shape here, sorry guys okay so you grab your shape you have your shape and then you want to go ahead and click on the pen tool and then why isn't it letting me grab it what's going on here think or convert to curves make sure you remember to do that that will allow you to go ahead and modify this so maybe you want the pocket to be slanted 
Um, maybe you want there to, I don't know, it's where you kind of use your imagination. Maybe you want there to be like a cool curve going down, just like that. And you can go ahead and play around with it, make sure everything is evened out. This is just kind of like a little demonstration for you. Um, but yeah, you guys can go ahead and mess around with that. The pen tool, you can do all kinds of really cool things with it. You can add cool pen to it. Let's see if we add that there. We'll move this down a little bit. We'll move this over here. And maybe that could be like a cool looking pocket. I don't know. But yeah, you guys could just use your imagination. And just to make sure everything's like nice and squared away. Use command that. But you go to view. And you can go to show grid. You can modify the grid. You can do all kinds of stuff. But let's go ahead and get rid of that real quick. And let's go ahead and uh, do something like this. Okay, so you got your square over here. We'll do 75. We'll go ahead and do 100. Boom. And then we want there to be maybe a little thumb for a card in there okay we want that to be 20 by 30 would be good i think 20 by 30 perfect and then you guys can just grab it line it up right here center it up a little bit and remember every single time you want to go ahead and divide left click geometry divide and then you want to go ahead and delete and delete and then you guys can go into the corner tool click on here we'll go ahead and do 10 and then we'll do 10 on here and there you go and then maybe you want that to be 10 let's get creative here this to be 10 everything is going to be 10 there we go. That's looking pretty cool. All right. So there you go. And then maybe you can just add a pocket. It's just like a straight pocket right here. Just like that. You can like move it up a little bit. So then when you put your card, oh, let's unlock it. You grab your card. You can put it right here. That'd be kind of cool. But yeah, you guys get it. So let's just use this for an example, right? And then that's bugging me. So we'll just move this to 10. Because the other one's 10. And this to 10. Perfect. I like that. That's pretty cool. And then you can just, boom. So now you got two shapes. There you go. Cut those out of leather. You got a, you got a wallet. So now, let's go ahead and lock this into place. Command L, or you can just click on this little lock icon. And then what I like to do is just get one of these, go right here, and then my spacing is always four millimeters. It's for the stitch line. And then the stroke will be red, that I can see a little better. And then I have the single prox pricking irons. Uh, for those, uh, I like to do 45 degree angle. So go right here, 45. And I like to make this one and this one. Okay. We'll go ahead and change that to black. Uh, let's change it back to black. And then you can just copy and paste. So then you have two. And then here's where it gets interesting. Depending on the distance, mine I know is four millimeters apart. So then I go over here and I'll make sure this one is four. If you have three, 2.4, whatever it is, go ahead and change it to your liking. I just like to zoom in, make sure that is perfect like that. And there you go. That is basically your pricking irons. I hold down option and then I can like scroll down and then you can just keep doing that option, scroll down and it just multiplies it by two depending on how many you select. 
and this really helps me just get the perfect stitch line and then you can go ahead and um, mount it up with your card so the card's gonna be like right there so you can see right here this always happens you put your pricking iron bah, you to hit it and then you just hit that perfect line it's the biggest peppy for me it's so annoying so then you can just you know you can drag it so it's like perfectly in the middle i don't know if that bothers anybody else it bothers me but yeah guys you know you can do that on the other side copy paste put it on this side add your stitch lines um but yeah these are some tips and tricks that help have helped me out as i've tried to figure out leather pa pattern making um but yeah this little neat tool can really help you out basically figure all this stuff out i hope um you know you guys learned something from it i know it was kind of fast but go back rewatch it and yeah go ahead and give this software a try and then if you guys have an easier way of doing things go ahead and let us know down in the comments make more videos using this software that'd be great but yeah guys till next time